ABC. And tonight we're going to talk about the acute responses, and in particular the acute responses from the cardiovascular system. So this is what VCAR want us to know. It is important place to start. Have a quick read of that. So what is an acute response? What it is, it's an immediate or short-term response to exercise. And what we mean by that is as soon as you begin exercising, these acute responses will start to kick in. However, these won't last forever. So once you've finished your exercise and you've completed your recovery, your body will return to pre-exercise levels. One important point to remember as well throughout this process is that oxygen is like the gold that the muscles are seeking. The more aerobic ATP resynthesis that your body can complete during exercise, the better. So nearly all of these acute responses are going to eventually end up, hopefully, with more oxygen, or the gold, at the muscle. These are the three big dogs of the cardiovascular system and the acute cardiovascular responses. Really important you have a good understanding of what increased heart rate, increased stroke volume, and increased cardiac output is. And cardiac output being the important one, being the amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart per minute. And in that blood is that oxygen that those muscles are seeking. Just to give you an indication of some rough numbers regarding heart rate, stroke rate, and cardiac output, um, here is just some general. These can vary depending on gender, training status, etc. Some important things to note is this max heart rate being 220 minus your age, um, the plateauing of this stroke volume, and the fact that the cardiac outputs and its associated oxygen requirements have a massive increase from rest to maximal exercise. To give you a bit of an idea of that, um, how important oxygen is and how gold it is to our um, muscles, then at rest you can see we only need these four liters, right, these are one liter Gatorade bottles, compared to the cardiac output at exercise being up to 24 liters, which means that we can get a whole lot more oxygen pumped out of our heart and to our muscles. So just to give you some more information on what we mean by this stroke volume plateauing. So at the beginning of exercise, until maximal intensity, heart rate will continue to rise linearly. What that means is as exercise intensity increases, heart rate will also increase. Stroke volume works a little bit different and that's why it's highly examined. But stroke volume will increase at the beginning of exercise until we get to about 65 to 75% of our max heart rate and then it will plateau or flatten out. So that means that the blood can't pump any more blood out of it per beat because it is at its maximal capacity. Any further increases in cardiac output from this point is due to this increase in heart rate. All right, here we have a really common VCAR question that comes up all the time. Um, I'd like you to have a little crack at this and we'll go through the answer in a little bit. Here's the answer here, and you can have a read of this. The important thing is we start with a definition. Uh, we mentioned that heart rate will continue to rise, stroke volume will plateau, and then cardiac output will continue to increase. The next acute response we want to talk about is blood pressure. Blood pressure can be considered a uh, vascular response to exercise, and when we talk about systolic blood pressure, that is when the heart is contracting and that will increase but diastolic blood pressure will remain the same. So it's, it's a careful one to note because the fact that it doesn't change much means again that that diastolic blood pressure comes up in sacs and exams reasonably often. Systolic and diastolic blood pressure is measured by 120 over 80, so the increase is reasonably significant up to about 180 over 80. Here's a 2018 VCAR exam question. I'll give you a little time to work that out. and hopefully you got the answer to be. Okay, the final thing we're gonna talk about today is this redistribution of blood. So when we begin exercising, what our body will do is prioritize that gold being that oxygen and it will try and send more of that blood and therefore oxygen to the working muscles. How we do this is by vasodilation and vasoconstriction. So if you have a look at this person down the bottom here, we have a dilated pupil, which means it gets bigger, which means more blood can flow through it. That's what happens to your arteries. How cool is the body? Uh, and then this vasoconstriction is when the blood vessels will get smaller, which means less blood can get through. Now this is a random picture. It's Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street. Hopefully some of you are um, 
old enough to know Sesame Street, but ha why we've got this in here is that when something, when we talk about vasodilation, we always want to talk about vasoconstriction. So no matter the context, if you're putting vasodilation in your answer, so in this case we're vasodilating towards the muscles to get more oxygen, somewhere else is going to be vasoconstriction. So talk about that vasoconstriction, which in this case is to the less active organs. This is a 2015 exam question, which is worth having a crack at. Give you time to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, hopefully in your answer, remember this data. We make our kids do a data dance at our school if they don't put any numbers into their response. So make sure we've got data in your answer. This is what VCAR gave us in 2015. 15 to 20 percent of blood flow is directed to the muscles at rest, and then due to vasodilation, we now have 80 to 85 percent of that O2 going to the muscles or the blood flow, which contains O2 going to the muscle. That shows you the gold, which it is. 10B is talking about the process, and the process in this case is vasodilation of blood vessels in regions requiring increased delivery of O2, which is the muscles, and then vasoconstriction somewhere else. So we've got Bert and Ernie in your answer. Okay guys, hopefully that helped make acute cardiovascular responses as simple as ABC. Don't forget we've got plenty more information up on our website. And if you like what you hear, please like us on Facebook or Instagram and good luck with any upcoming sacks. Thanks for watching guys, cheers.